Hello and welcome to the 2010 Fault Line Classic. Coverage of play will begin in a moment, but first we're going to have a brief introduction for those who don't know the game of disc golf. Disc golf is like ball golf. You're trying to get from one place to the other in as few tries as possible. But instead of shooting a ball into a hole, you're throwing a disc into a basket. Your first throw, also called a drive, is thrown from a tee. If you don't already know golf, here's the deal. There's something called par. When you're trying to get from one place to another in three throws, it's called a par three. If you're on a hole, it's a par three, and you make it in two throws, it's called a birdie. If you make it in four, it's called a bogey. Five, it's called a double bogey. Six, it's a triple bogey. So. All your scores are tallied up onto a scorecard. The player with the lowest amount of shots wins. There's a lot of different kinds of discs. You've got discs that were designed to turn over when you throw them, discs that were designed to do more of a hyzer. I'll explain these terms in a second. Most of the players throw backhand. Sometimes they throw sidearm. This is a turnover shot where you throw backhand to get it to go right. Here's one where it goes left. That's called a hyzer. Turnover can also be called an anhyzer. And this is a roller. Can be done backhands or sidearm. And here's the S curve. Starts out as a turnover shot, then turns into a hyzer at the end. When a player approaches the basket, sometimes it's best not to throw as hard as you can and just put it right next to the basket for an easy shot. That's called laying up. There's something called honors in disc golf that determines the order in which the players throw. Whoever did the best on the last hole throws first, and then they make their next throws in order of who is furthest from the basket. At the end of tournaments like this one, there are awards and cash prizes. This is but one stop on the national tour of the PDGA, the Professional Disc Golf Association. August 2011 will be a very exciting month for Santa Cruz as it will be hosting the World Championships of Disc Golf. Here's footage from Pinto Lake where players got started on this year's Fault Line Classic. Both the Pinto Lake course and the more well-renowned De La Viega Disc Golf course will be part of the action. Today's action picks up at De La Viega. Your leaders after the first day are Shasta Chris of Aptos, California, Ray Johnson of Grass Valley, California, Fernando Brown of El Paso, Texas, and David Madruga from Auburn, California. As you can see, it's pretty close. Shasta Chris and Ray Johnson with an astounding 8 under par on the first day, Fernando Brown 7 under, and Madruga 6 under par. This year's tournament also features one of the top 20 players in the world, Greg Barsby from the Republic of Rough and Ready, California. Now, Barsby scored only a 3 under on the first day, leaving him 5 strokes off the lead, but De La Viega is a 29 hole course, and the top 4 at that point play a 9 hole playoff, so Barsby will have plenty of opportunities to catch up. But hey, enough chit chat. Let's go now to the 2010 Fault Line Classic. Hole 1 is an uphill shot with lots of trees in the way. It's now a little bit more to the left than it was when this map was made. Here's Shasta Chris from the first tee. Nice big hyzer, gotta get under those trees and around, and it does. Here's Ray Johnson also tied for the lead after the first day at 8 under. Coming with a backhand, a little tight, gets through and a skip. Here's Fernando Brown, just one stroke off the lead at 7 under. Nice tight hyzer, oh off the tree. And here's Auburn, California's David Madruga just two strokes back. A little bit wide on that shot, it's going to have a long approach. Madruga with a tight sidearm approach. Here's Fernando Brown for his second shot. Shasta Chris, second shot. And Ray Johnson with his second shot. Madruga for par, just off the mark. Shasta from the bushes, in. Brown, in. Madruga to save bogey. And Johnson for par. Hole one, pars all around except for Madruga with a bogey. And Madruga falls back one stroke at minus five. Hole two has changed a little bit since this map was made. It's now a sharper left after you see the red dotted line start to turn. Here's Shasta with his first shot. Nice big hyzer. Looks good. Here's Ray Johnson. Bigger hyzer for him. Floating. That looks good. Here's Fernando Brown with his first shot. Nice tight hyzer. That also looks pretty good. 
And here's Madruga with his first shot. Also going kind of tight with the hyzer. Might be a little short. Here's Ray Johnson with a sidearm approach. Fernando Brown for birdie. Just off. Shasta for birdie. Nearly the same spot. Oh! Here's Madruga, also for birdie. And Johnson taps in for par. Par's all around on hole two. Chris and Johnson remain tied for the lead at eight under par. Hole three starts out downhill, then is flat for most of the fairway. The basket hides behind a cage of trees. Here's Shasta Chris. Nice low, flat shot. Gonna skip. Denied by the cage of trees. Ray Johnson. He looks like he's gonna go roller here. Big Anheuser roller. Here it comes and it's gonna turn. Madruga. Also going roller. Denied by the cage of trees. And Fernando. Missed his first shot. Here's his second. Great approach. Shasta Chris's second shot. Ray Johnson. David Madruga. Fernando Brown. In and out. Shasta Chris. In. So, Fernando Brown with a bogey, everyone else salvages a par. Cage of Trees had it today. Kristen Johnson stay in the lead at negative eight. Hole four, you have to go around a big tree and then there's a long fairway. It is downhill, but there's a lot of trees and a lot of trouble on the right side. Here's Shasta's drive. Coming around the tree. Oh, denied. Ray Johnson around the tree. Out into the fairway. Madruga, come with a roller shot. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> ah, just kidding, it was the tree. Brown also with the sidearm roll approach. That one's gonna roll through the fairway and off the right side, could be trouble. Here's Madruga's second shot going sidearm around the fairway. See where that ends up. Oh! Right near the basket. Shasta Chris. Coming around. Looks pretty good. Could be a little long. Ray Johnson from the side of the fairway. Just nice, easy layup. And Fernando Brown off the side of the fairway. Ooh. Shasta from behind the basket lays up. Fernando Brown for par. Nails it. Madruga for par. Nails that. And Shasta for bogey. Puts it home. Ray Johnson puts his par shot home. So everybody with pars except for Shasta with a bogey. Ray Johnson leads by one stroke now. Minus eight to minus seven. Here's hole five from behind. Uh, they're shooting uphill. There's a grove of trees and there's a little pit that you'd like to get in ideally. Here's Ray Johnson from the tee. Going with a pretty big hyzer. It's important not to get stuck in the trees here and get a penalty stroke. Here's David Madruga. Oh, what is that, a seagull? Jeez. And here's Madruga. Going very wide of the target. May work out. Here's Fernando Brown. Going a little bit tighter. He's got to get down. Look, oh, it looks like he's stuck. Here's Shasta. Keeping it nice and low. That's what you want to do. Skip right into the pit. Fernando Brown penalized for being in the tree. Here's his third shot now. And just lays up. Madruga with his second shot. Also laying up. And Johnson for birdie. Ooh, just off the basket. Chris for birdie. Gets it. Brown for bogey. Madruga for par. Johnson for par. And so a birdie for Chris and a bogey for Brown. Chris is back into a tie for the lead at eight under par. Here's hole six. You gotta watch out for the out of bounds about five, ten feet past the basket. 
It's a little groove in a hill. Starts out as a downhill shot. Here's Shasta. Going pretty big here. Doesn't want to be out of bounds. Looks like it's going to stay in. Here's Johnson. That one's going to go a little bit too far left, I think. Unless it turns over more, and it will not. Here's Madruga. Going too hard left. He's not happy with that shot at all. Fernando Brown. Turning it over. Oh, off the pole. That's going to be a long approach. And here it is. He's got to throw it a long ways to get there. Doesn't want to go too hard. He may have gone out of bounds. Madrug on his second shot. Brown did go out of bounds. Here's his fourth shot now. And he just has to lay up. Johnson for birdie. Just laying up. Chris for birdie. He's going for it. And he gets it. Back-to-back -back birdies for Shasta Chris. Madruga cleans up his disc. As will Brown and Johnson. So Shasta Chris with a birdie. Pars for Johnson, Madruga, and a double bogey for Fernando Brown. Shasta Chris now leads by one stroke. Here's hole seven. Hole seven's a long straight downhill. Straight at first, flat at first, and then you go downhill. And uh, some fast greens. There's Chris going a little bit right of the mark. Ray Johnson. And this is a beauty. That looks like it's going to be really good. Maybe a little bit left. Madruga. Oh, tried to go for too much and got the tree. Here's Fernando Brown. That's the shot. Oh, no, it's turning left. Almost gets the photographer. Madruga for his second shot. Low sidearm approach. That may work. It's a long shot. Fernando Brown. Oh, hits the tree trying to get out of there. It'll take him two shots to get back in the fairway. Shasta Chris laying up for his second shot. Brown for bogey. Off the basket. It's a nub, another double for Fernando Brown. Ray Johnson for birdie. That's in. Madruga for par. That's in. So another double bogey for Fernando Brown. Birdie for Ray Johnson. Terrific drive. Johnson and Chris tied the lead at 9 under par. Here's hole 8. This one's gotten out of bounds behind the basket and to the left. Either way is a little bit perilous, so players just want to keep it right down the middle. Here's Johnson. Going straight at it. It's looking good. Skip. It's going to stay short of the basket. Nice shot. Here's Shasta. Also keeping it nice and low. Going a little bit hard left. Skip, and I think it's going to stay in. Here's Madruga. That looks pretty good. Just low enough. It's flattening out. That looks nice. Skip to the right. Off the tree. Good shot. Here's Fernando Brown. His is turning over. Will it come back? Skips back to the left. Oh, great finish. Fernando Brown for birdie. Oh, in and out. Johnson for birdie gets his. Madruga for birdie gets his as well. So, birdie for Johnson, birdie for Madruga, and cars for Chris and Brown. Ray Johnson leads now 10 under par to 9 under par for Shasta. Hole 8A is a relatively new hole, it doesn't have a map yet. It's pretty short and to the right. Johnson with a turnover drive on the new 8A. This one is a short hole. Madruga getting that turnover drive to perfection. Great shot. Shasta going, turning it over to the right. That also looks good. Here's Fernando Brown. He's turning it over as well. Maybe a little too hard, but maybe good. Johnson for the long birdie. Just off the mark. Brown for birdie. Through the chains. Madruga for birdie. Nice and easy. Chris for birdie. And he gets it as well. Birdies for Madruga and Chris. Johnson and Brown with pars. Overall, Shasta Chris and Ray Johnson in the lead at 10 under par. Here's hole number 9. This one's a long fairway where you gotta go right and left, so if you can get that S-curve down, you may be able to birdie. Here's Madruga. That one's coming right. Will it come back left? I think it's gonna keep turning. Here's Shasta. That one looks like it's gonna do the S-curve. Good shot. Ray Johnson. He's got the turnover part down. Will it come back? Hard to tell from here. Fernando Brown, 
That one looks like it's gonna stay left. Druga with his second shot playing through thick brush. Oh, good shot just to get out. Here's Fernando Brown's second shot. Oh, just off. Shots to Chris for birdie. Gets another one. Fernando Brown for par. Madruga for par. And Johnson just tapping his in for par. Shots to Chris with a birdie. Fernando Brown with a bogey. Shots to Chris now leads 11 under par to 10 under par. Here's hole 10. Coming back the opposite way of hole 9. You got a few trees in the way. It's a long straight fairway with a slight hook to the right at the end. Shasta Chris, teeing off. Oh, he's going roller here. If it works, it'll be good. Looks like it might. Well, let's see, could have gotten some stuff. Here's Madruga. He's gonna go for the turnover shot. If he gets over the tree, it's good. Looks like he does. Johnson, he's also going roller. This one looks like it's gonna be a doozy straight. And to the right at the end. Is a doozy a good thing? Well, it is in this case. Fernando Brown in the tree. At least it drops. Here's his uh, sidearm approach. That looks pretty good. Shasta Chris with his second shot laying up. Madruga with his second shot. He's going for it. Oh, just off. Brown in for par. Good putt. Johnson for birdie from the road. Gets it. Johnson with birdie on hole 10. Everyone else with par. Shasta Chris and Ray Johnson. 3 under par for the day. 11 under for the tournament. Here's hole 11. It's the straightest hole on the course, probably. And uh, it's a long one. Here's Johnson from the tee. That's looking good. Nice and straight. Going a long ways and skipping towards the basket. Shasta Chris. That's looking pretty good as well. Nice and low. Looks like it's going to get a good skip. Great shot. Here's Madruga. That one's going really good little bit right and it comes back to the left at the end Fernando Brown nice and low stays in the fairway here's Fernando Brown on his second shot nice easy layup Madruga for birdie it's a long one and uh, just pretty much lays up Shasta for birdie off the basket Johnson for birdie falls short so everyone kind of cleans up their discs here. It's pars all around. Shasta Chris and Ray Johnson still lead 11 under par. Here's hole 12. It's a long shot over what's called the kitchen where there's an abandoned fridge beneath. Ray Johnson going big. Will he get it? Shasta Chris looking good. Off the branch. May need to get a beer from the fridge. Here's David Madruga going long. That looks pretty good. Got some trees at the end. Fernando Brown stuck in the tree. Brown having a tough round so far. Brown is third shot. Looks good. Shasta Chris, his second shot from the woods. Looks pretty good. Fernando Brown on his fourth shot, just getting out to the basket. Madruga, his second shot, laying up. Shasta Chris for par. It's a long one. Eh, just off. Shasta Chris for bogey, and he gets it. Fernando Brown for double bogey, gets his. Double bogey for Brown, bogey for Chris. Pars for Johnson and Madruga. Ray Johnson leads 11 under par to 10 under par for Shasta Chris. Hole 13 is one of the longest holes on the course, probably the longest. You got a long fairway and then a dogleg left through a lot of trees. Here's Madruga going big here. This looks like the perfect shot for this hole. Will he even get a skip there? That looks nice. Shasta. Nice and even. Looks like it's going to turn over. S curves out a little bit, but still too far right for his liking. Fernando Brown. That one's looking like a nice flat hyzer. Could be the shot he wants. Looks good. Shasta Chris, long second shot. And it's a great one. Fernando Brown, his second shot going sidearm here. That looks pretty good. 
Ray Johnson on his second shot, he's just laying up. Madruga on his second shot, also just laying up. Brown for par, Chris for par, Johnson for par, and Madruga for par. Par's all around on the whole 13 that most people get a five on. Ray Johnson with an 11 under par, Shasta Chris 10 under par. Here's hole 14, this one you got a, a big tree to shoot over, or under, and then you got a lot of trees in the way of the basket. Ray Johnson going roller here. David Madruga going big hyzer over the tree. Shasta Chris also going roller around the tree. That one looks good. Fernando Brown. Here's Ray Johnson. Nice approach. Fernando Brown. It's a good shot. A little bit long. Madruga on his second shot. That's looking good. If it stays under the tree, the tree knocks it right into place. A little tree love for Madruga. Shasta Chris, good layup. Brown for par. Johnson for par. Shasta Chris taps his in. Par's all around on hole 14. Ray Johnson still leads by one stroke. Here's hole 15. This one's got a, a valley of trees on the left side that you don't want to get caught up in, so most players do the big turnover or a sidearm throw here. Here's Ray Johnson. Going turnover nice and low. If he gets around the trees, it'll be good. Here's Madruga with a big Anheuser shot. Shasta Chris also going big. Fernando Brown, a little bit high, but it's going to work. Shasta Chris for birdie. Madruga for birdie. Johnson for birdie, that's in. Chris for par. Nice shot. Madruga for par. So, par's all around except for Ray Johnson with a birdie. He'll extend his lead. He's at 12 under par now, leads by two. Here's hole 16, one of the other longest holes in the course. This one's much more wide open than 13. And uh, players go big here, attempting to birdie. Here's Johnson, keeping it maybe a little low, and it's turning over. Here's Madruga. That one looks like if it keeps turning over, like it looks like it's going to do, that's a good shot. Here's Shasta. He's going big on his turnover. This S curves, it'll be good. Looks like it's gonna flatten out. Great drive. Here's Fernando Brown. That one nice, low and long, turning over, turning over. It looks like if it gets around, it'll be good, but it doesn't. He's shooting from the brush. Madruga just has to lay up from under those trees. Almost gets it, though. Fernando Brown for par just off. Chris for birdie. Oh, off the bat. Madruga for par. So, par's all around. A couple of good birdie runs. Johnson at 12 under par. Chris at 10 under par. Here's hole 17. Often taken out because of erosion issues. This one's short. That's it. <laughs> Here's Ray Johnson. Keeping it nice and low. This one does have a uh, steep green to the right. Madruga keeping his to the left of the hole. Shasta Chris. Nice and low, a little bit left. <coughs> Fernando Brown. A little bit too low. Fernando Brown for long birdie shot. Ooh, stop the pole. Shasta Chris for birdie, lays up. Or does he? It catches a roll, and he's going to have a long third shot. Shasta Chris for par. Off the basket. Madruga for birdie. That's in. Johnson for birdie, and that's in. Brown for par. Shasta Chris with a bogey, Ray Johnson with a birdie, and Madruga with a birdie. Ray Johnson picks up two strokes on Shasta, now leads by four. Here's hole 18. This one's uh, actually in location B, far right. People are going to have to do a turnover or a sidearm again here. There we go, far right. Madruga, great turnover drive there. Fernando Brown. Got a little bit sharp right. Here's Shasta. Another good turnover drive. Madruga laying up for his second shot. Shasta Chris for birdie. It's a long one. Just off. Fernando Brown for birdie. And he's just off. And players collect their discs. We missed uh, Johnson's second shot, I believe. He actually parred out here. Madruga for par. Gets it. Nope. Ray Johnson actually birdied. 
And uh, pars for everyone else. Ray Johnson now ahead by five strokes. Okay, here's hole 19. There's two trees in the middle of the fairway that you have to shoot through, ideally, to get towards the basket. You can go around the side, but most people choose to go down the middle. Ray Johnson here. Looks like he's going to hook around the right. Might work out. Madruga going to the left. And Fernando Brown to the left. A little short. May have hit that tree on the fairway. Here's Shasta going right down the middle. Fernando Brown on his second shot with a sidearm. Could work. Shasta on his second shot. Laying up. Ray Johnson for birdie. Oh, in and out. Fernando Brown for par gets his. Madruga for birdie. Madruga gets the birdie, everyone else with the par. Madruga now finds himself tied for second at nine under par. Here's hole 20, the first one is you're coming back to the parking lot. Uh, this one's on the location to the right. Starts out very straight. Here's Madruga with a big sidearm. Could work if he stays out of the trees. Ray Johnson going big turnover. That could work as well. Looks like it's going to S-curve out, though, giving him a long approach. Here's Fernando Brown. Going big turnover shot. Again, just got to stay out of the trees, and it's a good shot. Shasta Chris also going big turnover. That's looking pretty good so far. Here's Madruga on his second shot going sidearm for the approach. Ends up far left of what he wants. Johnson on his second shot. Looks like he's laying up from a distance and not close enough. Fernando Brown on his second shot. Good layup. Madruga for par. It's a long one. He's going to have to bogey. Johnson for par. It's a long shot, but he gets it. Madruga for bogey gets his too. Shasta for par. And Fernando Brown for par. Pars all around except for a bogey for Madruga. Johnson's still in the lead by five strokes. Hole 21 is one of the shortest holes on the course. Lots of trees. There's a little way around to the left side. Here's Johnson with a backhand nice and easy. Ooh, off the tree. Fernando Brown going up the middle as well. Looks pretty good. Shasta. Going up the middle. Also looks pretty good. And Madruga. Going a little high. May turn left a little earlier than he'd like. Johnson on his second shot. Looks like a good lay-in. Hope he doesn't get a roll. There's some steep greens on this one. Nice layup by Madruka. Johnson for par. He did get a roll. He's going to have to go for bogey. Brando Brown for birdie. And Johnson puts his in. And Shasta with a birdie as well. So two birdies there for Shasta and Fernando. Bogey for Johnson. Shasta gains two strokes on the lead on that hole. Johnson now up 13 to 10. Here's hole 22 going back towards the parking lot. It's behind a tree. A couple of trees, really. Here's Fernando Brown going way right of the mark. Ah, oh, but it hyzers out. Shasta. Going straight at it. A little bit of a turnover, maybe getting the S curve. As the tree knocks it down. Madruga. Going a little bit too much on the turnover there. There's Ray Johnson. Going turnover. Nice and low. Will it get over the logs? Looks good. Here's Fernando. Shasta putting under the basket. Madruga for birdie. Oh, almost. Ray Johnson for birdie. Not quite. Ray Johnson for par. In and out. Ooh. Madruga for par. Brown for par. Shasta for par. Ray Johnson puts his home for bogey. Loses one more stroke on the lead. Shasta with a par. Bogey for Johnson. Johnson now leads by two strokes. Hole 23, this one's a downhill. Goes straight at first and then to the right. The new basket's kind of in between these two that you see on the map. Here's Fernando. Going a little bit right. There's a window in there, though. That looks pretty good. Here's Shasta. Also going right, hoping to dip down in front of the tree. Or will he be stuck? Looks good. Here's Madruga. Going big on his hyzer. Could also get stuck in the tree or dive right in front. Looks alright. Here's Ray Ray. 
Going nice. Easy motion. Gets a little air bounce. Looking like that's going to have some distance. It's Fernando on his second shot. Maybe a little short. Ray Johnson on his second. A little short. Johnson for par off the pass. Johnson for bogey. Madruga for par. And Shasta for par. So a bogey by Johnson and a double bogey by Fernando. Johnson now only leads by one stroke. Here's hole 24. This is a tunnel shot. Real nice, tight tunnel. Got some trees in the way. And you get the idea. It's a tunnel. Here's Shasta. Nice and low. A little bit right. Could work out. Here's Madruga. That's looking good. See how it skips? Ooh. Ray Johnson. Nice big skip, too far right. You want it to go left at the end here. Here's Fernando. And too far right of the mark. Oh, with the kick off the tree. Here's Ray Johnson. Kind of a long approach. Difficult from where he is. Madruga on his second shot seems to lay up. Chris for birdie. Looks like there's some wind and woo, look at all that coming up. Kicks up the wind and you can see it's coming right back at him. Facing a headwind on a long putt. Will he or won't he, folks? He gets it! Chasta for birdie to put himself back in a tie for the lead. Fernando Brown for bogey. It's his. Johnson for bogey. It's his. Madruga for par. So Shasta with a birdie. Johnson with a par. Now a tie for the lead at 11 under a piece. Hole 25, this one uh, uphill. Got a big tree in the middle of the fairway to get around. And then you just go up, up, and left, and really steep up at the end. Here's Shasta going above that big tree in the middle of the fairway. Looks like he will get over it. Madruga going a little bit to the left. Might be kind of tough. There's some trees on the side there. Here's Ray Ray. Going big over the side of the tree. That looks like a killer drive. With a roll. Wow. Here's Fernando. He's also going big, but a little bit too far left here. That skip might put him in trouble, or it might work out. Yeah. Chast on his second shot, playing from under the trees. Ooh, this is going to be a doozy. Look at that. It's just, you can't see here, but it's way up that hill. And we go in for a closer look. Shasta plays out. Woo! Oh my, what a shot. <laughs> right under the back. Nice one. <laughs> Fernando on his second shot. Just lays up nice and easy. Ray Johnson for his second shot. Another good layup. And Madrew with his second shot. He's going sidearm here. Will he get a roll? That looked pretty good. Fernando Brown for par, Madruga for par, Johnson for par, and Shasta taps his in as well. Pars all around on 25, scores remain the same. Hole 26, this one's a steep uphill, it goes way right, so this map doesn't really show. You come up straight up a hill, a lot of roots in the way. Watch out for rolls. Here comes Shasta. He seems to have the idea. That looks like a good drive. Here's Madruga. Turning his over. That also looks pretty good. Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray. Ray Johnson. Looks good. And Fernando. Turning his over. Will he get around? Ooh, it doesn't even turn over. Fernando on his second shot. It's got a long approach to get here. Looks like he may have got that shot. Here's Madruga. That looks pretty good. Shasta for birdie. Oh, just out. Good run. Ray Ray for birdie under the tree. Oh, just off the chains. Fernando Brown for par. Got it. Madruga for par. Got it. Johnson for par. Got it. 
And Shasta for par. So a couple of good birdie runs by Shasta and Ray, but they both end up with pars. Pars all around. Scores remain the same. Shasta, Chris, and Ray Johnson tied for the lead at 11 under. Here's Shasta. Hooking is a little bit right on the new 26A. This one's a really straight one with a little hook to the uh, right at the end. That's a turnover by Madruga. Probably more of a turnover than he wanted. Ray Johnson. Looks like I lost that. There it is. Nestle. That looks like it's Nestle. in the fairway. Fernando Brown. Oh, a little bit to the right. Yeah. It's all right. Here we go. Fernando with a sidearm approach. That looks pretty good. Shasta on his second shot. He's got a long one here. Turns it over. That looks pretty. Here's Madruga. Sidearm approach looks good. Ray Ray from under the trees gets the S curve thing going from the sidearm approach. Shot, what a man. throw. <laughs> Fernando for par from a knee off the basket. Madruga for par. Puts his in. Johnson for par. Good. Fernando puts his home. Shasta puts his home as well. So here we go to the famous top of the world hole 27, 29th hole they'll play today. Shasta with a par, Johnson with a par, Brown with a bogey, and Madruga with a par. Madruga sits three strokes back, Chris and Johnson tied for the lead. So here you see a map of the hole, it's a big valley you're shooting over. And uh, you're going to the right of the tee pad anyway. Kind of most players try to go straight at it. There we go, that one's looking a little low. Madruga. That looks like a beaut. Watch out for the parking lot, that's out of bounds. Anyone in the road, really. Johnson. A lot of players throw their putter here. You throw it downhill and it'll just go for a ways. That looks pretty good. Brown. Ooh, that's looking nice. Might turn over a little bit too much. Pretty good. Ray Ray for his second shot. Probably just laying up here. More or less. Fernando Brown in his second shot. Just laying up. Madruga for par from the road. Looks like he was out of bounds. Oh, just out. In and out. Good run by Madruga. And the crowd appreciates it. Here's Shaft on his second shot from under the tree. Nice, easy layup. Johnson for par. And Madruga for bogey. Brown for par. And Shaft for par. Here's a look at everyone's scorecards, day two of De La Viega. So, pars all around except for Madruga on the historic top of the world hole. Let's see who moves on. So it looks like Greg Barsby comes in and uh, Fernando Brown is out. Barsby at minus five. Here's hole 20, it's to the right. We missed the drives on this hole. Here's Greg Barsby for birdie, gets it. Madruga on his third shot from the trees. He's going to have to just play out. Shasta to Chris for bogey. And Ray Johnson for par. Old 20 giving a couple people some trouble as Chris and Madruga have bogeys, but Barsby with a birdie. So Barsby now into a tie for third at six under. Johnson leads by one stroke. Here's old 21, the short one. We begin hole 21 accompanied by a little wildlife. And here's Barsby off the tee. Not a very good angle of him. Uh, there we go. And he's going sidearm. Looks pretty good. Ray Johnson from the tee. And that one looks like he's going up the middle. Could be a good shot. Shasta Chris. Also going up the middle to the right of the big tree. That looks like a great shot. Madruga. 
Going up the middle. Can he get around it? Oh, off the tree. Druga laying up on his second shot. Here's Ray Johnson on his second shot. Looks like he's laying up as well. Johnson's still the farthest out, so he'll be shooting for par here. And he gets it. Shasta for a share of the lead. And he gets his birdie. Here's Barsby for birdie. He gets his as well. Madruga setting up and hits his par shot. So birdies for Shasta Chris and Greg Barsby. Pars for Johnson and Madruga. Shasta Chris now a share of the lead at 11 under. Here's hole 22. Watch out for the OB in the road. Got to get over it and under a tree or maybe around it. Here's Barsby. Going turnover at first. Will it flip and make a little S curve? Looks like it's going to do that and get under the tree. Yeah. Great shot. Shasta. Going big here. Maybe a little too big. Looks like it's going to hyzer out, out a little shot. bit short. And the trees get a hold of it. Ray Johnson. Ooh, too low. Will he even get over the road? Not happy with that throw. Here's Madruga. His is going to turn over into the parking lot. Yeah. It's like he got a car. <laughs> <laughs> Madruga not phased. Ray Johnson on his second shot going under the trees and right into the big one. Madruga second shot from the side. Ooh, he's wide. Chris second shot just laying up. And Barsby for birdie here. And he gets it. Another birdie for Barsby. He's making a run at the leaders, folks. A little artsy shot. Why not? Here's Ray Johnson for par. Past the basket. Madruga for par. And he gets it. Johnson for bogey. And he gets that. Johnson with a bogey. Barsby with a birdie. Looks like the lead is kind of tightening up here. Shasta Chris takes the overall lead at 11 under. Here's 23. This one's a long downhill. Probably in location B, I suppose. There's Barsby shot. Missed the start of the drive, but it's a good one. Here's Shasta. That one. All right. Gets under the tree. Looks pretty good. Here's Madruga. Coming around the tree, it looks like. There he goes. Wide right. And gets a little tree. Here's Ray Johnson. This one also sailing around to the right. Looks like he's going to go between the trees. That's where you want to be, folks. Good shot. Madruga with his second shot. Laying up from a distance. Shasta Chris on his second shot. Nice, easy layup. Johnson, and he just goes in and out. Barsby on his second shot, just off the basket. Madruga for par. And Ray Johnson for par, gets it. And Barsby taps in. Par's all around on 23. Shasta Chris at 11 under leads the field by one stroke. Here's hole number 24. And uh, it's a tunnel shot. Bars be at 8 under. Nice low shot by Barsby. Shasta. Keeping it low as well. If that comes left, it'll be good. Looks like it's going to. Here's Madruga. Oh, nice, Dave. I lost where that went. 
Here's Ray Johnson. That one low and a little bit right. Johnson on his second shot, looking to recover. Looks like a good throw. Here's Barsby, his second shot from the woods. Looks like a layup. Johnson for par, off the basket. Shasta for birdie. Yeah. Yeah. Another birdie for Shasta. Madruga for birdie. Yeah. And he gets his as well. Yeah. Barsby for par, in. And looks like Johnson's just going to finish up with a bogey. So a bogey for Johnson, birdie for Shasta, birdie for Madruga. Shasta Chris at 12 under par, Johnson down to 9 under par. Here's hole 25, the uphill with the steep left turn at the end. Shasta going big over the tree, looking good. Beautiful drive. Yeah. Here's Madruga. Madruga going big over the tree as well. Come on. Get over it. Why not? That settles out well. It'll be good. Ooh, yeah. caught some trees, but still in the fairway. Powerful drive. Barsby. He's going nice and low. A little bit left to where he wants to be. Ray Johnson. Going big over the tree. This looks like a... That's a oh, long that's drive, nice folks. Shot. Great drive by Ray Johnson. <laughs> Barsby on his second shot, playing through some thick brush. And caught a tree in a roll downhill. Ouch. Madruga on his second shot, going uphill. Plays it a little bit short. Barsby on his third shot for par here. He's just going to have to lay up. Good run, though. Shast on his second shot. Is he going for it? Pretty much just lays up. Johnson on his second shot. A layup as well. Madruga for par. Off the basket. Rolls. To a stop. Madruga for bogey. He gets it. Arsby for bogey gets it. Johnson for par. And Shasta for par. Players proceed to hold 26. We got pars from Chris and Johnson and bogeys from Madruga and Barsby. It's going to be a two horse race here. Chris leads by three strokes. Hole number 26. This one's uphill. Tough dirt can cause a lot of rolls. Way right. Shasta with a shot off the tree. It was looking good until it hit the tree. Johnson going right. If that comes back left, it's going to be good. The best kick in my life. <laughs> Here's Madruga. It's going to get the turnover shot a little bit low. Ooh, hits the tree. If that stops rolling, it'll be okay. Here's Barsby going way left of the mark. Not so good right there. Barsby on his second shot has got to go long. Coming a turnover around the side. That looks like a beautiful shot. Nice recovery. Here's Shast on his second shot. Coming up over that tree. That could be good. Looks like caught a little roll. Madruga on his second shot. Going above some trees. Looks okay. Yeah, it looks good. Shasta for a long par. In the basket! What a shot by Shasta! Here's Johnson for birdie. And he gets it. Cuts the lead down to two. Madruga for par. And Barsby. Also for par. So, Ray Johnson with a birdie. Everyone else with a par. Shasta leads by two. Would have been just one if he hadn't hit that long par. Here's Ray Johnson on 26A. 
long straight shot. Looks great. Shasta. Nice low shot. Going a little right. Madruga. That one is going to nestle in the fairway. Good shot. And Bartsby. That one looks like it's going to start out right. Will it S curve? Not looking so hot. Here's Shasta with his second shot. He's going to have to get around that tree. Looks like he's going to go for a long turnover approach. Nice and low with a little skip, maybe? That's good. Here's Madruga's second shot going sidearm. Beautiful, right next to the basket. Barsby on his second shot playing from under the trees. A little bit short. Johnson on his second shot, making a run at it, just lays up. Here's Barsby for par. Off the basket. Chris for par. And he gets it. Big shot there for Shasta. Madruga for par. And Barsby. Johnson for par. That was a bogey for Greg Barsby, but par's for everyone else. As we proceed to the final hole, Shasta leads by two strokes. Top of the world, folks, here it is for all the glory. Ray Johnson playing from the tee with a fault line in it. There he goes, that's looking good. That's looking really good. If it gets under the trees, ooh, it looks like it's gonna be a little right of the mark. Here's Shasta. Going a little bit high. Hope he doesn't get the parking lot. Oh, it's uh, it's going to be a uh, short and in the middle of the fairway. Madruga, keeping that in the middle. That's looking like a beautiful shot right there. A little bit short, but should be able to either putt for birdie or lay up for par. Bars be looking like he's going to go sidearm here, right over those trees. Looking good. Great drive by Barsby. <laughs> Shast on his second shot, just a nice easy layup. That ought to do it. Ray Johnson with his layup. Barsby for birdie. No. Madruga for birdie. A little bit short. Barsby for par. Gets it. Madruga for par. It's in. Johnson for par. And Shasta. Is your 2010 Fault Line Classic Champion.